Hey, what up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2. I almost said Demon Souls because I've been doing a lot of Demon Souls recently and uh, finally finished it. Uh, the final boss clip has, well not clip, but the walkthrough. And when I say walkthrough, it's a real walkthrough. It's not a blind playthrough, okay? So the final part of the walkthrough, it's already been uploaded, so... If you guys are interested on Demon Souls walkthrough uh, strategies on how to defeat bosses, how to complete areas, uh, make sure you go check that out if you want. Uh, but yeah, if you want a good strategy, check that out. Um, today, we are going to be doing some more Dark Souls 2 things, okay? Um, uh, so today, it's, it's July 21st. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys will know what's up, why this video is coming out. Uh, for go for those of you guys that don't know why why I'm posting this video. Uh, the reason why is tomorrow it's it's the DLC, July twenty second. Okay. I believe it's out for all platforms tomorrow. Uh, I I hope it's out for all all the platforms tomorrow because I want everyone to enjoy. It. The DLC because it looks pretty fucking awesome even though it's just mostly screenshots there's only like what two video um, trailer that's out but yeah it looks pretty amazing as long as it's a DLC as long as I get to play more Dark Souls 2 as long as I get to die more and get more frustrated from bosses it's all good to me <laughs> yeah so yeah July 22nd on 2014 uh, just in case you guys are watching this from 2013 <clears throat> even though I don't know how that's possible but yeah or 2015 doesn't matter uh, the DLC is coming out this year 2014 July 22nd and uh, there's a total of three DLCs if you guys haven't seen my DLC news video uh, there's a total of three DLCs uh, the title of them is gonna be the Lost Crowns. First one is I think the Sunken King. I think the second one's Iron King, the Lost Crown of Iron King. Third one, the Lost Crown of the Ivory King. I believe. I hope I got the orders correct. But yeah, the first one it's Sunken King. I'm pretty sure because I was looking it up today. And that's gonna be out tomorrow. And uh, the way to access it. Okay, so for those of you guys that haven't checked out Dark Souls 2. Um, newses or stuff like that. The way to access the DLC is to go go through the Black Gulch. Okay, so first, go. Uh, uh, I forgot this place name. Shit. <laughs> I forgot what this place is called. Uh, the gutter. Yeah, the gutter. Uh, go go through the gutter. There's no boss in the gutter, so don't worry about it. But there are some nasty poisoning, and uh, if you don't watch a step, you can fall the fuck off or get knocked the fuck off. So. Be really careful for this area, the um, the gutter. Uh, after the gutter, there there's the Black Gulch, and what they have in the Black Gulch is one of the primal bosses, the Rotten. And in order to access the DLC, you will need to have to um, kill the Rotten first. Okay, now um, you don't need anything specific to get to the Rotten. Uh, all you need is uh, a lot of HP, I believe. You don't have to get the ladder in order to uh, get to the to the gulch. Okay, you guys can just do the jump, but make sure you have the HP. If you don't have the HP, try saving up for the silver cat ring. I believe that's what's called. Unless they changed it, the, it's the cat ring. You can you buy it from the cat in Majula, and so you can reduce the fall damage. And then after that, you can just make your way down to the gulch if you guys want to access the DLC early. But I would highly recommend you guys get some level, of, get um, boost up your level a bit, get some useful weapons, stuff that it's good. Don't go with like a descaling like katana or something like that, or a broken dagger or something like that that's, that has like shit damage. Cause I'm pretty sure you'll die. <laughs> I don't, I don't think you can even make it to the. Um, to the DLC because you have to you have to kill the you have to kill the the rotten first before you can access the DLC. So uh, make sure you just get a good enough weapon, you know, upgraded to a decent damage, 
uh, then make your way to the gutter you can get through the gutter go to the black gulch and um uh take out the take out the rotten <laughs> yeah take out the rotten uh if you guys want Luca tail i can't remember how you get her i don't know if she appears there right away or not because i never jump right straight for the gulch first before i always like go through it i i take out like the lost bestial stuff like that first um no man's wharf and i i usually leave the gulch last because there's a total of four primal bosses and i leave the gulch last so yeah i never take on i, I never took on the gulch first so uh you might want to take out the other three primals but if you're a badass if you're a veteran souls player then you know of course you can just come and jump into the gulch and you had you have your own strategies and tactics to take out the rotten but for like beginner souls players uh, if you guys are not really familiar with the Soul series, I would recommend you guys take out the other primals first. But of course, it doesn't have a set path. So if you guys feeling confident, you guys can and and just come over here to the gulch and take on the stuff here. But what I would recommend is you take on the other primals first before taking on this one. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, that's what I would do. I was I would take the time. Uh, to make character um, and then take out the other bosses first and then come come to the to the black gulch and then take out the rotten or you can just take out two bosses two primal boss and then come here for the gulch you know you don't have to take out all three and take out two or maybe even one I don't know but I myself will just take out all three and then come to the gulch last just because I don't really like this place and there's a lot of poison in this shit. And those stuff that's in this black tar here. Um that shit, those things can grab you and then it can it has a potential to one shot you, okay? But you can survive, but know that there is poison darts like shit flying all over the place. So if you get poisoned and they grab you and leaves you with one HP left, the poison is gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's happened to me before. And uh it was not good. So, yeah, if you guys got all the build, you got your build set, you got your weapons set, stuff like that. If you're prepared, um, if you have already beaten the, the rotten, you know, you just fast travel back to the bonfire here. And um, then you can make your way to the um, DLC area. The DLC area, as of now, it's already built in, okay? So, like, the entrance is there already, but they just haven't released the item. Um, once you purchase the DLC, you will receive the item, according to the news article I read from IGN. That's, that's like, the only site I can find uh, information from. I'm pretty sure there's more right now, but uh, I found the information there. And if you guys want, well... I'll link you guys anyways. You guys will see the link in the description if you guys don't believe me. But you guys will see in this video that there is the place. And when you purchase the DLC, they'll give you item and it's going to be in your inventory. And uh, you can just grab up the item and <laughs> access the DLC. So now we can just make our way through the rotten arena so after you beat the rotten there is this primal bonfire and uh, now okay as of now when you look behind the bonfire the primal bonfire this is a whole new area this whole new thing with snakes and then there's this like little soul looking thing in the center and then you can examine it and it, tell us, it teleports you to a whole new place. That is where the DLC area is. I guess that's why it's called the Sunken King, huh? Because when you when you interact with the area, this is like water that spews out. And uh, I can't I can't wait to find out who the Sunken King is. I don't even know if we can get to fight that thing. There's probably a chance that we can, uh, but I don't know. <laughs> I really hope so. And the other thing about this DLC is, I really hope they say, they have like something about Artorias, because from Dark Souls 1, 
that he he was my my hero in Dark Souls One. <laughs> yeah, I freaking love Watorius. He's just so awesome. You know, god damn it. So yeah, I really hope like in these three DLCs they'll have something about Watorius. Hopefully, something about Watorius. Maybe his armor. If his armor shows up, man, you can, you will hear me. Uh, cry in the background. That's right. Uh huh. Because I'll be crying from joy. But yeah, and uh, have you, as you guys can see in the video, and uh, when I try to access the door, it says it's closed. Yeah, the the area is out already, but we just need that item. The item. So 24 more hours, and then we can get more item. Well, it's probably not gonna be 24 more hours because we still gotta do like the PlayStation Store update and stuff like that. And uh, this video is probably gonna be up later. Well, yeah. So. I don't know, a few hours I guess but anyways I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful uh, join me next time when we take on the DLC yeah